Do kings and queens, it's your boy the UP King, the people's champ, and I'm back with another video. And you see it, we got another Corphis spray gun. And this one right here, hopefully this one spray like that 155. This is the PHS 135, 1.3 tip. Man, I hope this one is like that 155. And if it is, ooh, we listen. Wait till I tell you the price on this one. If this thing does like that 155 did, hey, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Get this thing opened up. All right, we got some instructions. Got us another plastic cup. Pretty much made the same. Like I said, I probably won't really use these. I got a lot of these uh, plastic cups, standard cups starting to collect. But if I ever run into an issue where I need a cup ASAP, I got plenty of them. Got us a tool kit, break the spray gun down. Comes with a filter, Allen wrench, you know, your brushes, all that good stuff. And we got the actual spray gun. And that's everything in the box. PHS 135 Porphis. It's stamped on here saying that it is max 2 bar to 2.9 bar, which is a max of 29 to 42 PSI. Looking pretty nice there. Nice little gun body. It's actually uh, giving me the vibe of the Black Widow uh, very first version. That's what it's kind of reminding me of. Of course, you got your fan here on the side, your fluid on the back. You got your inlet for your air down at the bottom. I got that thing and just opened it all the way up. Feels good in the hand. It's a pretty light gun. So, I'm kind of liking that. Now, the last one, the 155, I didn't open it up, which I should have, so I could have showed you that there is absolutely no gaskets, plastic gaskets, in that spray gun at all. All right, real quick, just wanted to show you the 155 from Porphis. See if we can get this thing opened up. All right, as you can see, no gasket, no plastic gaskets, all metal to metal. It's all metal to metal. So let's check this one out, see if it's metal to metal. And right off the bat, I already see a plastic gasket. But when I tell you the price on this one, you'll understand. All right, so when you get that open, again, plastic gasket. Gonna clean this one out before we use it. Again, another plastic gasket there. And uh, that's it. Porphis PHS 135 1.3 tip. 
All right, kings and queens, really not a whole lot to talk about when it comes to this spray gun, and we don't want to do a whole lot of talking anyway. We want to see what this thing going to do. So let's jump out into the shop, see what we got that we can uh, go ahead and spray and test this thing out and see what it'll do, see if it's worth it. Let's go. Really enjoy painting this color last time, so we're going to go with it again. We got the Chrysler HGN or PGN Natural Green. And giving you a look at it again, showing you what it looks like straight out the can. Nice color. Starting off with this first coat. And uh, I'm spraying that 29 PSI. That's the starting uh, PSI for this spray gun. And let me tell you, it came off real peely like that pressure was way too low for this spray gun um, this spray gun is definitely the opposite of the PHS 155 yeah it just ain't the same spray gun let me just tell you that right off the bat um, I was not happy with how peely of a paint I was getting out of the spray gun you see me looking at it and I'm trying to decide if I want to spray even more definitely wasn't happy with that first coat all right here we are with the second coat and I bumped the pressure up to 35 PSI and I'm slowing down a little bit because this spray gun does not put out a lot of material like the PHS 155 so I had to slow down it puts out a nice amount of, of material but I had to slow it down a little bit to get the coverage that I wanted but after that first coat of peel it just didn't get any better even with bumping up the pressure and let me say that uh, the trigger on this you can kind of feel that it's just not made the best so again this is not the PHS 155 this this spray gun definitely gets the job done but you see I'm looking at it I'm trying to figure it out and uh, it just ain't working Alright, this is after two coats of base. You can see the peel in the base after the two coats. It just didn't lay flat at all after starting off at the 29, then bumping up to 35. And I actually do a third coat at the 40, at the max. Well, no, the max is 42, but I bump it up to 40 and it sprayed a little bit better you'll see here but it, it was already done for so we bumped up to 40 psi giving it a third coat and again slowing down but if you notice it's a lot more overspray now because I'm spraying at such a high pressure way more overspray than you probably really want to deal with especially if you're doing this at home in your garage so that's kind of why I'm, I'm not really digging the 135 like I said it'll get the job done but the adjustments that you need you know it's just rough with this spray gun this is after three coats of the base got full coverage It's looking good It's just peely luckily for me this is just a test panel but uh, it's a lot more peely than I wanted I really should have been spraying at the 40 PSI from the jump and I probably would have got a better job so with this being a, a cheaper spray gun you know I probably should have stopped started at the 40 
getting ready to lay down this first coat of clear and I'm spraying right at the 40 we just jumped at the 40 and stayed at the 40 and it's doing a lot better but again this is a slower spray gun this is not a fast gun and again you see the overspray you gotta slow this spray gun down uh, that will work in the favor of if you are a beginner this would be a perfect beginner spray gun if you are a professional then you probably don't want to get this spray gun alright kings and queens putting down a second coat of clear and uh, I actually do a third coat but I do that off camera because I want to see if I can actually run the clear because this this gun was so slow it's very difficult to even put too much material on you have to go extremely slow if you can see you know in the video I'm going a lot slower and I'm trying to put the material on that's really slower than I normally spray again this is not the PHS 155 I cannot stress that enough I had to go a lot slower with this spray gun to get the material on and get the clear to lay down like I wanted but again this will be a perfect beginner spray gun it won't put the material on too much you don't have to worry about runs you know, if you keep a good distance to wet the clear out, it, it, it's going to work out for you. All right, kings and queens, this is after three coats. This is what it's looking like. Not too bad. Flowed out pretty good. Now, I said after three coats, I only showed you two. The third coat I did off camera and I attempted to run the clear, which I was successful. And it was down here at the bottom. I mean, it is very difficult to run clear with this spray gun. I mean, it, it flowed out still pretty good, even attempting to run it. This is just a test panel, so no biggie. As you can see, we got dents in it and everything, but yeah, it, it, it's difficult to get runs with this spray gun. It's it's slow, so you you gotta be purposely trying to run your clear, your base or your clear with this spray gun. But uh. Let's take it outside and see what we looking like outside. We outside with the kings and queens and here we go. Still not bad. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but you can see the orange peel as well as the run. It definitely didn't shoot like the PHS 155, but still did a good job. There's the first fender that we did with the 155. get this thing moved around and out of the sun all right here it is outside of the sun or away from the sun you can still see me in the reflection so again not bad it's just a lot more peel than the PHS 155 
All right, kings and queens, there you have it. PHS 135 by Porphis. Not the greatest spray gun, but not the worst. And for the price, which I never did say, which is $47.59, something like that, on their website. And again, the people's discount, 5% discount if you put in people's champ when you uh, check out. So you're going to get some money off of that $47. But again, at that price, it's not the greatest built spray gun, but it will get the job done. Uh, we still got a beautiful result. We just didn't get the result that we wanted. So we'll do a little bit more testing, try to dial this gun in and uh, see if we can get something better out of it. So there you have it, you know. You can check into it, see if it's something that will uh, work for you and your projects. And uh, this might be a great gun for you. So that'll be it for this video, but I'll catch you in the next video. It's